Hello everyone. I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how I made this template for the reverse perspective project for my fourth and fifth graders. I found a template online and I ended up creating my own so that I could run it through the copy machine. Here's how I created the template. Using cardstock, I used 11 by 17 so I could fit it in my copy machine. You could use smaller if you wanted to. I think with this kind of project, bigger is better. Just like you start any one point perspective project, you're gonna begin creating that big X on your paper. Normally we draw the back wall a little bit larger, but for the reverse perspective project, a smaller back wall seems to work a little bit better with the illusion. So draw the back wall. I drew everything in pencil and then traced it in Sharpie so I could run it through my copy machine. Mark out the vanishing point and then I would erase those guidelines. Now to create the reverse perspective room, you need to add two more points on here. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be matching the top point to this corner to create the inside line. Switch for the other side, top dot, this corner, inside line. Then now we go bottom dot to the corners. And if you have older students, this is something that they could do themselves. But I just thought at this point in the year, it is the end of the school year, and drawing things in perspective is enough of a challenge for my fourth and fifth graders that I would save them a step by creating the template. I ended up marking off on mine these areas. I just did them with zigzag lines. These are areas where you don't want your students to draw. There's not going to be anything there. The inside lines are the cutting lines, and so on my template, I did a dash line and I wrote the word cut. So all of these lines are cut. And you can see that I blocked off the sides. What I did was I just measured from the back wall to the bottom of the floor, got a measurement, and I redid that measurement for the sides because now these are also do not draw areas. When the template is cut, it looks something like this and then it gets overlapped like that. So I hope that was helpful for you. And you, again, can have your students make their own templates or if you have younger students and you wanna save some time, make your own and run it through the copy machine.